So my neighbor had these beautiful pallets sitting out on his deck. I said, man, I need a couple of those. What are you going to do with them? He said, I was going to build like a little deck. I'm like, man, I need a couple of them. Get, put, on, get, put my grill on them. Get my grill. Make some room out here. So he gets them where he works. He says, eh, I'll see what I can do. You know, I said, eh, don't worry about it. I'll find some. Anyway, he comes over a few days later. He says, you want those pallets? I said, hell yeah. He said, they're yours. Come and get them. Another freebie. And they're in good shape. So, I got my wish. I made me my little grill stand. <laughs> I just threw it together as fast as I could. I'm going to finish it up a little bit, deck it out a little bit. And probably throw some paint on it. But man, I can dance out here again. <laughs> I got some room. Thank God. Getting a little crowded around here. Yeah. All right, I'm going to head down and check out my minnow trap that I built. So we're back in the 80s, baby. And we're either below normal or above normal. And I'll take above normal any day. So I built me a little minnow trap just for fun. And I haven't been able to really get too much in it. So I made some modifications. I had put a funnel in there and spray painted it white because it was red. And it, they just couldn't figure out how to get in it. So I took the funnel out and put a clear Coca-Cola bottle in there. And they still had a hard time figuring it out. So I'm like, man, what the hell am I doing wrong? They, you know, 50 minnows hanging around going, how do I get in this thing? Then one, you see one would go in and a few more would follow, but it wasn't like jam packed. So I cut the Coke bottle down, made it a little shorter. So they didn't have to swim so far, get through to get in there. And put it in here yesterday. I, I came down to a little video, but the wind was howling and screwed the video all up. But I've been putting it right here because this is where they hang out. And you see how muddy it is? It was worse than that yesterday. I came down here and things was just full of crap. So I threw it out there. See if anything happens. I can see them, man. They're huge. Compared to the ones over here. Look at them. I don't know if you can see them right there. But there's a buttload of them. And, and then the brim, too. They, um, there must have been 30 brim over here. Looking at this damn thing I made. And they're like, how do we get in there? I think, too, if I made it so it floated just below the surface, they might figure it out. Let's see if there's anything in there. I, I don't see anything. Yeah, and there ain't one friggin' minnow in there. When I spotted those minnows, I started throwing pieces of bread out there. They didn't really seem, you know, a couple of them came up and pecked at it, but not like your regular minnow would, you know? Yeah, there ain't nothing in there again. See that Coke bottle? I had it, you know, it was about two inches longer. I cut it and made it short. I might even need to cut it again, but I cracked it. So I had to go to Walmart and get another bottle of soda pop. The shiners are back. I picked one up the other day with the cast net. And I haven't seen a shiner in weeks, but they're back. I figure if I throw one down here, throw a trap down here, the hole big enough, I might get some shiners out of it. I see that might work being that high out of the water. I don't know. It might need to be a little deeper. But you, you walk over here, man, the water starts fl fluttering from all the minnows. They take off. This is where I come with the net and just scoop them up. And it seems like I get pretty good size ones compared to over there. 
out of here plus I'm getting grass shrimp I don't know if you know or have grass shrimp in your area but they a delicacy especially for them crappie I see they start swimming around that bucket and they're like how do I get in there I think this is gonna be the place yep one just went in there's got to be a couple in there see they get on the outside <laughs> and they start trying to beat their way in it's got to be a way maybe I should just put a little sign on there it says enter through here fish are supposed to be so smart because they travel in schools and I've sat right here the last five minutes and seen 20 minnows swim in and turn around and come back out it's something they just can't figure it out to keep going it's the only thing I can think of or maybe I should add more holes around you know put some holes around that coke bottle so they go in and then they're like hitting plastic and they can't figure out just keep swimming see that one just went in and here he comes right back out like no oh, that's a dead end I think I'm gonna take it home and modify it. Bring it right back down. It shouldn't take that long to do something with it. I got a rock in there. Oh yeah, there's a big fatty in there. This one that I can see, I probably just killed him with the rock. <laughs> Oh God. So I'm gonna cut that thing off, make that hole a little bigger, and then I don't know what else I'm gonna do. Now they should be able to swim through that damn thing. Then I'm gonna take the old little solder iron thingy and I'll melt some bigger holes, you know, so because that's what seems to be happening. They just come in here and then they turn around. But if I put some holes in here, it should help them. Slide right through, I hope. There's hole number two, there's hole number one, do one more. Right on him. And I'm not going to put it in the same spot because I just threw all that nasty bread down there and they might be eating it. I'll put it by the dock again. It's not you know it's Monday so it's not real busy on the lake and hopefully the water will stay clean and hole number three yeah what the hell Maybe one more so that hole is big enough for small shiners to get in and small little bluegill to get in there but they can't eat that much yeah, I'm going to throw her down there. Ooh, there's a big old choke daddy. Ooh, the bread's all up there. Might be a little more enticing. <laughs> all right, fish, start swimming. Come on, boys, get in there. I don't get it. Is it because it's all floating? You know, they're waiting for it to float up to the top water like they're used to. And how come half of it sinks and the other half floats? Boy, isn't this fun? <laughs> uh, well, I'll come back in a little while and see if anything gets in there. Leave it, leave it for a little while. Well, I couldn't resist. I came back down. <laughs> it's only tough. 15 20 minutes or so. Yeah, let me see what's going on. There's actually like three or four in there flipping around. That one's pretty good size. I don't know. It's the same story though. Come down here, they're all hanging around. Can't figure it out. This seems to be the best spot. I just saw two go in. One turn around came out. There's one. There he goes. There goes another one. There goes another one. Come on, go on in there. Yeah, this is the best spot. It's shallow enough. 
They don't have to go deep. Oh, one just found his way out through one of them holes. Huh. There goes another one in, another one going in, another one going in. Another one go, oh, one came out. There's two changed their minds. They're in there tearing that bread up. But that ain't no good. I, I shouldn't have put them, all them holes in there. Or sit here and watch it fill up and pull it out and throw it back and do that a few times. There goes one. No, changed his mind. There goes two in, little ones. There goes the third one. Oh, a big one just came out. Another one just came out. I'm going to pull it up and see. <laughs> I can't stand the suspense. Look out for that rock. Oh, yeah, there's a bunch of them in there. Wow. Well, it's working better. But I, I would say for everyone that's in there, there's probably another one swam out. I'm not gonna throw them in my bucket. So that's what I had in there. You see all the grass shrimp? Little clear guys, and they're getting bigger. There's a couple of little crawdads in there. It's like every time a fish dies, they eat them. So they're getting bigger too, but they don't get much bigger than that. Yeah, those look pretty good. I used to go to Lake Toho years ago. I didn't have a boat. And fish for crappie at the docks. I'm sure you may have heard of Lake Toho. They do a lot of bass tournaments there. And I would go around the bank and fill up my bucket full of grass shrimp and then go hit the dock and you'd lean lay on the dock and lean over and throw that shrimp on the hook under the dock and boom man the crappy grab it every time but if you threw it over the side just right off the side they wouldn't hit it now you see how many I got hee 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 so this time I'm gonna throw them back over there and walk away. So I thought this was really cool. Uh, guy says, I got my grandfather's 1969 9.5 when he died. And this is from uh, my 72 9.5 video. And he just commented a few hours ago. And he said it had been sitting in his shed for 15 to 20 years when I got it. And it sat in my garage for another 10 years before I got around to using it. Carb kit, water pump, adjust the points, put in a jet two sizes larger than the stock one to compensate for the modern ethanol gas we have nowadays. Still, to this day, starts on the first pull. What an amazing little machine these outboards are. I just thought I'd share that. Wow, the lake just glassed off, man. Wow. I knew I should have taken the boat out. Anyway, just want to run down here real quick and see what my minnow trap is doing. And then I'm gonna throw it off the end of the dock in the deep water fill it up with I got some old crackers and check it in the morning see if there's any shiners wow it moved that is not good probably from the boats son of a gun uh, I bet there's nothing in there that ain't no good I can't even get in I don't see nothing flipping around in there Well, the ones that were in there swam out. Oh, there is one. Oh, he's, he's a good size. Oh, yeah, he's nice size. One crappy minnow. See, this thing, I think, is only best. Throw it in there. You 
see them go in, pull it out, empty it, just keep doing that. That looks good, full of crackers. That hole's about an inch and a half-ish. Boy, I love the, the hot weather and so do the bugs. All right, let's get this baby out there. Check it in the morning. Oh yeah, baby, another beautiful day. Anyway, run down here and check out that stupid minnow trap. See if anything happened. Out in the deeper water, cut that hole big enough for some smaller shiners to get in. Boy, wouldn't that be funny if I pull that thing up and there's half a dozen shiners in it? This is when they're out, earlier in the morning. There's something in there. <laughs> Two little brim. So I say I fix this one up for the hole. Use it for shiners and Use the other one, make another one, I mean, for minnows. I didn't even think that big of a freaking fish could get in there. Let's see. Come here, you. Ooh! He's the big one. Here's the little one. Let's see. Oh, yeah, he went right through. I figured a little guy like that would. This guy, he had to squeeze through. See? Look at him. He can't hardly get through there. How in the hell did he get in? Yeah. Throw it back out. That's my shiner spot over here. That's where I've caught most of my shiners. Goodbye, the Titanic. Oh yeah, it's, I can see it there. And it, it's pointing straight out, so easy swim in. All right, I got too much to do. We'll come back later and see. I'll bring my gas can down if I get done. Look at all the mess on the water, nasty.